Assalamu alaikum scholars. I hope you all are doing well. As you all know, today's session is about what we are talking about. There are many pictures that will be discussed. So, our friend is Sohail. I don't have time today. I don't have to say anything today. So, I think without wasting much time, we are going to pass on to the next session. So, I think without wasting much time, we are going to pass on to Sohail. He is going to start the session for today. Over to you, Sohail. Okay. alaikum. Welcome back. I think our fourth session is uh, I hope you guys can hear me and you can see me. Uh, let me see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 13. So 13 people have submitted images, which is very nice. Our, uh, <clears throat> If I have missed anybody, just let me know. Inshallah, we will accommodate them in the second session, a session after this. Because many, I just tried to make sure that I check everybody's email, and I think I did. But you know, sometimes you can miss, or sometimes maybe you sent it to me and it just never uh, came through. So, kabrani ki koi baat nahi. If your images are not here, we will uh, look at them some other time. Inshallah. So uh, before I go ahead and show your photos and talk about them, I'm just going to go ahead and recap what we have done and give some tips, some uh, mistakes, your common mistakes photographers do. We'll discuss those real quick. And then inshallah, we'll look at your photos. I'm very happy, honestly. I can see ke how you are paying attention and how you try to incorporate your hamnis You're trying to figure it out. You're trying to use it. Uh, just keep in mind that this is not going to happen overnight, right? It's a lot time to learn this. And art, ko, ki perfect ka ki you cannot perfect it, but you can keep getting better, keep getting better and keep learning, keep your eyes open and keep working hard. Um, photography is not just a time pass or not just a profession. It is something that can give you a lot of happiness that can give you discipline and that can teach you uh, so many things in life um, about nature, about people, so this is, I believe personally, this should be a must um, for any human being. Learn photography; it will teach you a lot. Chale, I'm going to share my screen, and then um, we'll discuss. I hope you can see. Um, the images here, I discussed those. Let me just talk about real quick some of the common mistakes that photographers make, especially your beginners or they, even advanced photographers. One would be, I say, common, random, random photographs. This camera out higher and look through the camera and see what you can see. So, I would say that's a really bad practice. I mean, a session me ki how we went from photograph one to um, let me just see if I can show that to you. If you can see this, how we went from this photo all the way to to this photo. Okay, let me just go here. We went from this photo to this photo because. This was a random shot. We didn't pay attention to the background. Um, we didn't pay attention to um, where she should be placed in the shot. We just picked up the camera and took a picture. And then we went through a series of photos. So don't do random photos. Pick up your camera after you have seen the shot. Think about it 
key, how do I take a picture of this? What is the best angle to photograph it? I know some people are gonna say, maybe key, I won't have enough time to do that. Yes, there are gonna be situations where you have to act very quickly. Passing moment, like weather changes, or a candid shot, a man, a human being, or even an animal, that you don't want to miss it. There are going to be occasions like that, but those are going to be very rare. Majority of the shots you have are planned. You go landscape photography, you go portrait photography. You can always plan them. Or I go there a little bit early to figure out the light is and what are the best angles? And then when you are there, just shoot it from different angles. Don't just shoot it from one angle. Um, and then you go home and look at them and see what is the best picture that you really want to use, right? So different angles, you know, don't just take standard photos. Just say, every one takes it. Koi be famous place, for example. So you, you know this, that's going to be a very boring picture, right? So uh, this set of images. angles So this is one same place, but from different angles. Okay. So I want you to do the same thing. Just start shooting it from various angles. Or a very small mistake that is very common. How do you hold your camera? Most of the people will just, not most of the people, some people will just hold it one hand. I think that is not a good idea. Modern cameras, they are now much better shake wise. Like in, even a cell phone or good cameras will shake uh, if you have properly hold it. So always remember the pop camera hold. Like, for example, this is my phone. So I'm not sure if you can see me. You can see me in the corner. Um, so you're going you're gonna to be holding it with two hands. Hamesha. Camera shake with it, and your your subject will be blurred, or even you can cut off their ads, right? So always hold it with both hands and make sure that you are steady yourself too. If you have a DSLR, even point and shoot camera. If you have a DSLR, then hold your lens underneath. If you point and shoot, then it's going to be like this. And then when you're clicking the shutter button, make sure it is done. Um, gently, as a chat case me. You can see how the camera is shaking. So this is the mistake that many people make, and that's why some of the photos have camera blur. Um, you don't want to do that. Or uh, make sure you check your background. We have talked about that earlier. If you have a equipment here, like you have a DSLR, uh, you are once in a you get more serious, and then you buy some equipment. Jabbiya photo shoot pe jaoge na, make sure you have a checklist. Or us checklist may have the kinki apke pass sari cheese hai kine before you go for a photography trip or whatever uh, you, you do. Um, two mistakes people make. Actually, one is a major mistake is they either forget their memory card. Yeah, they have a memory card in the camera, lekin wo sari full hai. Now you cannot delete those. You have a memory card, but you cannot use it, right? So make sure that you check your memory card, you check your batteries, make sure a battery check, even a cell phone, photo shoot, make sure your cell phone or whatever camera you're using is fully charged, right? So those are the things you want to keep in mind. Or now, this is a modern mistake. So bahut sare photographers got there is the social media posting. If you are on social media, if you are now young, you don't have social media, but in the future, you are going to do it. This is probably one of the most important advices I can ever give. Never ever 
just blast the social media with your photographs. Agar aapne shoot pe ja ke 30, 40, 50, 60 photographs liye. So I have, what I have seen photographers do, they just throw them on the social media. Sorry, 50 ke 50. You know, so ki so. You don't want to do that. Q? So Q sahab, sorry for interruption. Can you hear me? Uh -huh. Sorry for interruption. So, uh, I have just sent you a WhatsApp text. Could you just quickly check check it? And okay. then we can get back. Just one sec. Sure, sure. Sorry for interruption. Okay. Got it. Okay, thank you. No problem. All right, so um, make sure that when you have photographs logina and you want to post it on, um, on a social media like Facebook, say for example, select your photos, edit them first, if you can edit them. If you don't have an editing you don't have an editing program, pick your best shots, maybe five, maybe six, 10 maximum, and then post them. Because people don't have time to see your 40, 50, 60 ordinary pictures. They want to see your best shots. What happens also, if you post your best shots, karte ho, you build an image. Ki this photographer is a really good photos. Look, he always consistently takes good photos, which is not cheating, but it's a good way to build your image. Post your best photos. Don't show people your ordinary photographs. And finally, don't rely on the feedback from your friends. Don't rely on that feedback. They, are, they, they love you. They, take, you know, they really care about you. They're not going to hurt you. So they will never say that your picture is bad. Your photograph is not, you know, it's my techniques. It's not taken properly. So then you sort of, it's a misleading comment, isn't it? You should have done it this way or the technique was wrong. So don't rely on the comments or the feedback from your friends or even family members unless you know and you rely and you trust them that they will never lie to you. It's not like they're lying. They just don't want to hurt you, right? So they are being nice to you. But I don't think that's a good thing in photography. You want to get the proper feedback. So basically those were the, some of the things that you should avoid. Um, now we're gonna jump into straight. Um, photographs you have submit game. Let's look at those. So we're gonna start with Abdul Bari. I think Abdul Bari had more than one picture if I don't, if I'm not wrong. Just give me one second. I'm going to check his more images later, but let me just check something real quick. Yeah. I'm going to start with uh, one second, one second, one second. This is not right. I found it now. Okay. Sorry. Session four. Let me just organize these. Give me one second. Okay, I'm going to start with uh, Amar bin Mukhtar, right? So 
So if Amar is there, can you confirm um, if these are your new pictures? Because I'm a little confused here. Let me go to your chat box. Samar, can you chat with me and tell me if this is the right picture? If he's not there, I'm gonna just go ahead. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and we'll see later. Looks like. So let's look at this picture. I really, really like the timing or a story Joe is photographing. As you can see, um, this is very difficult to get this uh, shot in the background and the exposure is the foreground. You can actually see people properly. I like it. Uh, I'm not sure about the crop, but um, I like the story and I like the atmosphere um, of the sun peeking out through, through these clouds. I don't think I'll change much with this photo. Let's just keep on looking what else he has. This is a good picture. It looks like a painting. Um, I like the framing, the corner, the green leaves. Okay. What I would have probably done, uh, Amar, is you drop the right side, me. you cropped it a little too tight. I would have seen a little bit more space in front of the cat. You did it right, but it's a little too tight. So if you had a little bit more space on the right hand side of the cat, it would have been even better. Rather than that, I think. I think it's nicely done. I like the lighting coming from here and I like the texture uh, on the background. It's really nice. So let's turn this around. Very nice lighting, nice timing. Um, I personally try to avoid these power lines, you know. I try to avoid shots on the power lines, zone, but it's not always possible. But I like your rule of thirds, actually. Apne jo horizon rakha hai, bilkul upper upper third. Pe. This is what we keep talking about, rule of thirds. I'm not sure if you see these lines. So this is how we put this line here right on the upper third. So that's a really good good thing. And also you can see the leading lines going into the shot. And of course the river leading into the shot. That's good. Beautiful lighting in the left side. That's a very interesting shot. This is nicely done again. Uh, I like the lead. I like how he placed rule of thirds, his subject. And I like the story in this photograph. I like the expression. Looks like it's a new, new picture. Um, just check timing if I can see it. seven seven forty PM good timing and it was taken on August eleven. This is beautiful. So Amar up I think um I love the the, the, the I think it's this shot either early morning or late. Uh, early morning, so eight o'clock, very nice. Or uh, the only thing that I would change about this, Amar, is um, if you see how the line is, top pe, horizon, it looks like kind of center. I would come down just a little bit from the top, just a tad, maybe this much, and I would try to align it somewhere here. But other than that, really nice lighting. You can see how lighting makes a huge difference, right? Good job. Nice set of pictures. Okay. Amjid, Habibi Amjid. This is nice. Beautiful lighting. Beautiful picture. Very nicely done. I wonder, Amjid, what was right in front of you? Bilkul um, photograph ke bottom mein. I wonder if there was something more prominent, you could just move back 
and get that into the shot too. But I like it the way it is though. It is nicely done, rule of thirds. Um, horizon is right on here. Maybe we just come a little bit lower. And I love the lighting, very nice. This probably is my favorite shot out of uh, so far in these two pictures. That's for two reasons. You can see how Amar, I mean, how is this not Amar, who is this? Back. Habibi, okay. Amjad. How Amjad actually placed this on the top. Okay, this, this is known as framing, right? We talked about this before. So put, put something overhead of your shot, even on the sides to give your picture depth. So we can just look at it real quick, how if it wasn't there, how this picture is so flat, right? So that little branch or head makes it, I'm probably gonna crop this much, makes it really, really nice and gives it depth, right? So if you can see, um, I'm just the hamper, thorisy line, Johanna, ye horizon, ye thoris a tilt or I. Unless you do it on purpose, that's fine. But if it's not done on purpose, I always align my photos just slightly this way. It's not that bad. I'm just being picky, like in picture about that here. What I really like this about this photo is this foreground, bottom. Remember, I am, I'm a big fan of foreground. Place uh, things right in the foreground. So that's good. Nice texture, nice foreground, nice framing, and really nice uh, roll of thirds. Theme techniques in use key in chart me. Um, it's going to keep getting better, of course. Once he has a better equipment, it will be much better quality photo. So, but he has the concept, which is really, really good. Okay, this is beautiful lighting, beautiful colors. It just looks like a painting. I really, really like this. Nicely done. Okay, and then. Um, so make sure your uh, make sure <laughs> make sure microphones are muted. Um, somebody's microphone is not muted. Okay. This is also a good shot. I think I just mentioned I I don't like power lines in in photographs. Ab dekh sakte ho ye wire ja rahi hai cross pe yahan se. This sort of look really nice here. Uh, I don't, I don't find them distracting at all in this shot, but I normally try to avoid these if you can. Let's go here. Again, good one. Nice framing and nice foreground. Excellent. And Mashid Ahmed, uh, I hope I pronounced it correct. This is beautiful lighting, Rashid, beautiful lighting. So, um, and you do, you are paying attention. You do have things in the foreground here. Excellent, excellent. And your lighting is awesome. It is very beautiful. Um, so here is one tip I can give you about this photo, which will probably make it better. As you can see, oops, sorry. As you can see, top, there is no information, right? There's nothing, there are no clouds, there is nothing to be seen. So I probably would um, have, what I would have done is lowered the camera and showed more foreground. Showed more foreground. I got up lower camera, you will see more. So let's actually do, we're gonna crop on the top, right? So let's actually bring this line at the horizon right here. I'll show you what I mean. So if I go down, I probably will shoot it like that, right? So we still have some of the space on the top, but um, but it is more compelling now. There was nothing going on on the top. So you, you wanna pay attention to that. Unless you had beautiful clouds, then this photograph would have worked the way it is. Just keep that in mind. If there is nothing in the shot, you don't want to include that. Unless you are trying to create a dead space, which is a completely different concept. 
I think I think right now I want you to avoid anything that doesn't have information in there. Okay. This is nicely composed. Again, I'm not sure how many people can see this because it's a little bit flat, but I really like the, the angle of this shot. Low angle, very strong foreground, and these leading lines going in. This is brilliant. I really like this one, very creative. Uh, but <clears throat> the composition, Joe is, is photograph ka hai, bahut acha hai. Aapka jo foreground hai, aur phir aapne diagonal jo is fish ko rakha hai, just going, not going straight up, it's going a bit sideways. And it's right on roll of films. It's beautifully done. You can see how the fish is right on the cross section of these lines. Excellent. Or uh, the only thing I could say about this is, is if you had included maybe a little bit more of the hand in the shot. Um, I'm not sure. So it probably would have looked even, even more depth medical maces are the increase Ojati. Remember that would have acted as a frame. But it is beautiful the way it is. I, I really like it. This is a really good picture, very nice. Okay, so we're looking at Mashid's, Mashid's picture, okay. So Mashid, now again, remember this, we do want to, we do want to place this line maybe a little bit, let's go up a little bit like this, uh, right here should be fine. But other than that, a nice composition, good job. Good set of images, and I'm really, really happy what you guys are doing. I can see you guys are paying attention, and you're trying to apply the techniques and the concepts. That's all what this is about, right? Let's go Naila Ahmed. So if I'm not showing right images, please put that in the comments here. If I switch images, it is possible. If that's, that's the case, just put that in the comment here or just turn your microphone on and tell me you don't have if you want to talk to me please go ahead you can speak to me in any language you want Kashmiri English or though it doesn't matter Naila Ahmed Naila Ahmed ki pehli tasveer hai I'm not sure ki aapne diagonal ye on purpose rakha hai I mean thought it's a tilt but I like the way it is. I like the lighting and I like how you placed your subjects right on rule of thirds and you gave them some space in front of them to show that motion, right? This is beautifully done. And if you, if you tilted the picture on purpose, then it's fine. If you didn't, then you got to pay attention to that. But I think, I think it looks perfect the way it is. The tilt is really nice and the lighting is really good. Subjects are really good too. Okay. Let's just crop it here. Rule of thumb. Okay, so leading line going into the shot. Again, if Naila tilt on purpose, kiya hai, good. If not, then I would pay attention to that. I would keep the images straight, maybe this way. Okay, so then the photograph should look straight, right? So this horizon should always be straight unless you want to tilt it on purpose, which you probably did in this picture and it looks really nice. This is a really interesting concept. Um, uh, like I said, I'm not a big fan of power lines. I guess it works here. Again, I think you like tilted images, which is fine. But good work. Your best shot is this one. This one I really, really like. Okay, very nicely done. Very nicely done. Good job. Always, I mean, always, uh, I like the monotone. I think you, let's see what time you took this picture. It says early morning, 8 a.m. 
It is really nicely done. I like the leading lines going into the shot. I like, um, I like the post on the side, which gives a depth to the image. I like the lighting, and I think I like the the desaturation job Nikki has made. Colors you me. You didn't do all the way. I think you kept some colors in it. Bluish tone is cut. So black and white would have been this. But I think you did some blue color, you left it in. And that gives it, actually gives it a feeling of even nighttime, but it wasn't shot at night. Okay, this is nice. <clears throat> I like photos like these. I like when people use um, framing over the top. You try to use the bottom um, foreground, but it's dark, I guess. There is something underneath. Let's see what it is. There is something underneath. It's not bad at all. But the only thing I could say is this, it is sort of dead center here. So let's actually come down a bit from the top. We don't need that much framing. We could probably come down this much. Okay, that, that's better now. Up here, your line here, this is not in the center. This is a little bit more up, right? So what it was before, it was, it was almost in the center. You can see how the center is right here. So it is in the center, exactly. So we wanna come down, we could come, we could go up here, but then we will lose the foreground. But let us come um, right this way. Okay, this much should be fine. The brightness there, much better. Hmm? So this was who oh, always, okay. Uh, this is nice. This is very nice and very unique. I bahut dinon ke baad maine ye shuttle dekha hai, shuttle cock. This is um, place dead center. Agar aap, if you guys are thinking ki, hey, this is dead center. It's not our rule of thirds, but remember, Symmetrical chizejohotina, we could place them dead center. That's okay. So this is not bad at all. So Thorosa tilt here, we can just fix it just a tad there. Um, I definitely like foreground image of strong wires in mesh. I like that. Good job. And I wouldn't change anything. Or Apni Joe. Rule of thirds, you place it dead center, which is good because it's symmetrical. And then the horizon, you place it lower third, which is really nice. Nicely done. This is a good one. I like the lighting. And I like the concept. Exposure up cup, bilkul sahir. You, again, I can see you guys are trying to get creative about your photos, which is exactly what I want. Kinky, in the beginning, you may not get the shot that you're looking for, but this is the practice experience. With experience, with time, and with practice, you're going to get better. But I like this. This is a really nice uh, thought of photograph. Beautiful. This one is actually really nice, okay? Excellent, excellent. Um, you can see horizon is on the lower third. It's not dead center, correct? Um, it's aligned perfectly. There is on the side or on the top framing. So we have the depth created by that. We have a foreground, foreground may you can see uh, these branches and then we have beautiful lighting. Very nice. And the next one is Ruksana Jan. Again, if I'm not showing the right images, please let me know. Okay. So I, I think I mentioned it more than one time. I really like when somebody sets up a photo, you work on it, you wanna create something because you are learning. You're trying to see what will happen. Unfortunately, COVID or you can practice things like this. This is a really good example of, you know, creating shots like that at home and playing with um, different perspectives, 
So what she did here, she did a number of things right. One, she's right at the eye level. She's not taking it from the top. Two, she kept it very clean, right? And then she's showing multiple um, techniques in this shot. Leading lines, all these lines are going toward, this sort of reminds me of my um, photo about the desert photo. Um, See if I can see if I can go there. I want to show that to you. This photo reminds me of this photo. So, meaning you are paying attention. That's I'm really happy to see that. So let's go back to Roxana's photos. So, all these lines are going into the shot, and she did place a dead center again. That's fine, Kyuki. This is all symmetrical. So dead center here will work. I would actually place it a little more center. I'm just going to come. So you have an option of either keeping it on roll of thirds, maybe right here. See now, this doesn't look as compelling as if it's in the center. I think center looks much better here. I'm actually going to come in, place it completely in the center, right here. This one. Um, yes, this is how you how you learn techniques. Good job. Shahid Bhatt has multiple images. He's experimenting with different subjects. He has people and nature in these shots, which is good. That's what I do. I, I shoot everything. All right, dead center, but it's working. It's working because of the symmetry in the shot, right? Completely symmetrical person. Um, and it's fine. Just go back to this one second. Okay. All right, so here I see you a couple of techniques, you got them right. You did use the foreground, this rock right in the corner. I like that. I always, I'm a, like I said a million times, I'm a big fan of that. Tilt, I'm not sure Shahid Kapni on purpose kia, or you didn't pay attention to that. I'm going to give you benefit of doubt. I think you did it on purpose and it is working. I'm not sure ki dead center, does it work here or not? Remember many apko pehli ka? You need to know what the rules are, but you can break them. It's okay, you can break rules if it's working for you. It looks like it probably is working, even though there's not much symmetry in the shot, but it's still working. Uh, diagonal center is still working. Let's, let's try to see if we can place it on the rule of thirds, maybe one side. If I can, I don't wanna lose anything actually here maybe lose a little bit of foreground. Let's place it here. No, I actually like the way it is, so let's keep it that way. I'll just come a little bit more lower here, that's it. But I love, I love the concept, I like your perspective. Nicely done. You have a bunch of pictures, uh, Shahid. I may not be able to show all, but I'm gonna go through them real quick. This is beautiful lighting even though it's taking, taken at 11 a.m. It's beautiful lighting. This is nice, excellent. Very nicely done. Um, if these time stamps are correct, Shahid, 1, 11, I would try to avoid that time. I would try to take these pictures, either morning or evening. How you are lacking shadows. Aapko nahi lagta ki image is beautifully taken. Concept aapko jo hai sahi hai. Ya aapko ye nahi lagta ki thoda sa flat hai photograph. That's because there are no shadows in the shot. There are no shadows kyunki midday mein photograph li hoi hai. So when the sun is right above you, then you don't get enough shadows on, on the uh, you know, landscapes. You can see uh, pretty flat lighting, you know? So 
if you, if this picture was taken early morning or late evening, it would have been completely different and very compelling, right? So pay attention to that. Timing is crucial in photography. Lighting, lighting is a huge, huge thing. So let me see if I can introduce some of the shadows and I'll show you the depth. Uh, let's do this. So you can see, you can see before and after how you can see a little bit more details, a little more depth in this one, because I introduced some of the shadows in the shot. So this is what sun would have, um, different timing would have done. Actually, it would have been even better. So pay attention to your timing. I like the, I like the perspective of the shot. It's a storytelling shot. Um, somebody is looking at something and you're showing that and also you're showing the person. This is nice, beautiful uh, macro, almost a macro shot. And the key about photos like this is to make sure everything, the whole screen is filled with your photo. So that's exactly what you did here. There are no gaps on the sides and it's nicely done. Beautiful. Excellent shot, excellent concept, um, very sharp. Um, just keep in mind, um, Shahid, give some breathing room to your subjects on each side. I know I told you um, rule of thirds, which is perfect, but you wanna give a little bit more room here. Other than that, it's nice. Very sharp, very great details. Just trying to see which camera it is, okay. Nice, very nice. Again, getting creative and taking different types of shots. Nice framing, beautiful lighting. Excellent rule of thirds and beautiful leading lines. Really nicely done. Everything in this shot is leading into the shot. This road here, the grass, these, the fence on the left-hand side and the fence on the, right and left, both sides. And what's gonna happen, Shahid, is inshallah, once you have a better camera um, and better timing, this also is showing 1.30. I, I think your timing, timestamps may be wrong, but, um, but you're doing a good job. Great, 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 great. Okay, next one, real quick. Beautiful lighting, beautiful framing, beautiful framing. Very nicely done, excellent. Um, composition, perfect placement of the tree. Again, give some breathing room to your left. Okay, leave some more space. Beautiful lighting, a nice concept. I wish I had um, these dandelions like these here. We don't have like these, these are really good. Beautiful lighting, nicely done. Excellent shot, framing. Very nice. Rule of thirds, you're placing your horizon on the lower third. That's exactly what I'm looking for. You are right on track. Beautiful shot, rule of thirds. You just placed it dead center because it works. And it is working. Nice framing, again, beautiful. This is probably your best shot so far. Um, let me just try to straighten it. Pay attention to your Make sure your, your images are straight, okay? Everybody, make sure your images are straight. When you are holding your camera, hold it straight. Unless you are on purpose tilting it, that's different. But it's brilliant. Real quick. A big thing, how much difference is between this shot and this shot. See how more compelling and more depth this one has than this one. Because this is more framing, right? This one is more framing. I don't know what kind of tree it is, but it's beautiful. Beautiful lighting. Excellent. This is a really nicely uh, done picture. Okay. Watch your tilt, but I love, love and love your foreground. Same thing which I said before about somebody's picture. There is nothing going on, right? 
And sometimes dead space actually works. It helps, but I don't think it helps in this shot. So I would probably come down and I would probably crop it here and pay attention to something is showing on the right hand side. I don't know what it is. Let's actually crop that there. I don't want to crop it because I'm losing foreground, but let's do it. But this is brilliantly done. Nice, you are in low angle, you have foreground um, and nice lighting. Good job. So that was Shahid, uh, Shayak Malik. So Shayak, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Beautiful lighting. Um, Seven, almost 8 p.m. I love these clouds. Very nice, very nicely done. Um, I wish you had included a little bit more of the foreground. I'm gonna come down a bit here. So, up, Shayak, agar apne jo bottom wala portion hai na, agar apne thoda sa or dikhaya hota, maybe a little cup, maybe an inch more, it would have been a little bit more compelling. But it is, it is fine the way it is. Is that audible? I think it is audible. It's beautiful. Let me just crop it properly first. Okay. So what really makes this photo germinating the Fab Sikai? is this foreground, this rock right here, makes this photograph really, really cool. And it's beautifully done. Nice, dead center, because it sort of works, it's dead, it's symmetrical. I'm going to keep it the way it is. What I would do is, I would probably come down a little bit more here, okay? So you don't want, you don't want this dead center. I mean, I know it's in the middle, this way, but top to bottom, it shouldn't be middle. So let's actually go a little more lower and make it like this, okay? Much better, isn't it? So this was before. I just wanna show you what I did with the picture, I'm sorry. Let me just go back. So this is what I did. All I did was cropped it from top and brought it a little more down. Beautiful. This is your best shot. Absolutely. Beautiful lighting. Uh, I just want to see how much time you have to do this. 8 a.m. Yes. So scholars, just keep in mind, I keep mentioning this, timing is what makes the picture. If this was taken at 1 p.m., it would have been very flat. So I'm going to crop the borders for a second. And if you see the horizon is a little bit tilted and I'm going to straighten it just a tad, there we go. There. It's hard to see, I know. It's hard to notice that. So what we're gonna do is we have two, um, we have the horizon now sort of dead center, right? And we wanna fix that. So this is a really good example of teaching you how do you decide up horizon here because I told you not to keep a dead center from top to bottom it shouldn't be dead center you can see it's almost in the middle so how do we decide ki hum isko yahan par rakhe, upper wali line pe, upper third ya lower third pe rakhe. how do we decide that we decide based on ki niche kya ho hai or yahan upar kya ho hai. what is more important what is more prominent what's more effective in this particular case, as you can see, both top and bottom are really rich in content. I don't wanna lose clouds. At the same time, I don't wanna lose this. What do we do now? So I guess we could leave it the way it is, probably break the rule and leave it the way it is. But I'm really compelled to decide between the two. And this is where personal preference comes into play. If you are a big fan of clouds, you don't want to touch clouds then. So what you will do is probably go from bottom and place it right here. 
So this is the, the good technique right here. Now we brought down this horizon to the lower third. You can see lower third right here, right? So we still have the green, we still have beautiful clouds. On the other hand, if you are a big fan of the greenery in the bottom, correct? Then we crop some of the clouds, then we come down just a tad, this much. So it's a personal choice. If you ask me, it's really hard to decide even for me because I like it this way. Now my, these leading lines, these shadows are more prominent. I love these because they take you into the shot, right? So I want to really leave the green, but I don't know. But clouds are not bad either. Clouds are very compelling too. So I will let you guys decide what you want to pick. I probably will go with, I probably will go with our crop clouds. I'll probably go with this. This is the way I would crop it. But I'll let you decide. This is a really good example of where do you crop your image? If you are trying to place, what do you show? Upper part, meaning background more or foreground more? That's something that you will have to decide. Shmael Shafi. Um, this is a set of images from her. Beautiful, beautiful uh, colors. Uh, Shmael, same thing. Pay attention to the horizon. Make sure it's straight. So we're going to straighten it a little bit like that. But I love the colors. I love the contrasts. Um, and again, I'm not sure Shmael Apni Kism. Kiss time pe picture li thi. It shows 8 a.m. So uh, this probably is. I'm just trying to think. Again, I personally don't like the wires. Um, I wish there was a way to. Uh, you know, keep all these lines, power lines underground. I'm not sure. Let's actually try to uh, see if we can delete them. Sometimes actually um, power lines sometimes actually help because they create leading lines. I'm not saying that don't use them. You can use them if you're using, using them as, as leading lines. But, uh, but don't use them in a way so that they're distracting. Here, they're not acting as leading lines at all, right? Leading line would have been if these wires were going into the shot. Okay, let's go to your next shot. Beautiful, beautiful colors in the background. I love it. And I love how you used um, the framing, correct? Now, say, for example, if we uh, flip it. Oops, sorry, not like that. We transform it clockwise. I'm not sure. No. Okay, this is nice. This is what I'm looking for. Excellent, excellent. Simple photo, very simple picture, but very effective. Excellent. Foreground and it says 8 a.m. Correct me if I'm wrong, it doesn't look like 8 a.m. picture, but it very well could be, because that's what it says here. I don't see enough shadows here, that's what I'm saying. But, if you comment in the do you remember Is 8 a.m. correct? All right, so I would probably see, I got him thought of shadows at Kathe. Okay, she says 4.30 p.m. Yeah, so 4.30 p.m. in summer is not a good time. Huh? And you can see that in your shot. I got up near the sphere, maybe a couple hours later, this would have been more effective. Because your concept, your 
techniques hai isme wo sahi hai bilkul those are correct that's the way i want it to be you have a foreground beautifully done you have water going in like a leading line you have a little bit of blue sky you used you didn't use a whole lot um remember how yahan se yahan tak it's too blank so come down a little bit so technique wise is perfect just pay attention to your time okay it's a beautiful picture though very nice concept i love look normally i would not use this much dead space but it really isn't a dead space actually there are some clouds there but more importantly how this dead space creates these shapes this photograph is full of shapes it is really nicely done what really bugs me in this photo are the power lines these power lines i don't like power lines so even though actually those power lines also create shapes you could argue that um so i'm just taking them out i don't like them i mean they are working for you i might i don't mean to say that don't do it but for me okay so beautifully done this is a really good example of how you draw actually agar aap painting karte ho na i don't i'm not a an expert painter but i do paint sometimes um how you can paint start by by the dead space itself and then you bring in these forget about it that's a different topic okay um this one is good but i think this is a little camera shake but i like the concept i these are beautiful trees i don't know where it is um what place is that what place is that shima uh, shima shimail i'm sorry do you remember what the name of the place put that in the comment um let's go back to the next oh she's saying it is kupwara okay it's a beautiful scene okay sanaula but for some strange reason i have a number of people missing i can see them here but i'll see what i can do i'll bring them in all right sanaula but is very simple but very effective photograph what i would do in this photo is probably come down a little bit more like this that's all i love the colors in this photo it is a little bit flat um uh, shadows come in isme which you could fix if you have an editing program for example like this which we could um just tad but forget about that i love the colors i'm a big fan of colors big fan beautiful excellent photo and this is definitely one of the best i love the colors i love the um we call it framing right here a little bit tilted i'm not sure if you did that on purpose um why i'm saying it's tilted because i see there's a house here like that over there so but it's still working if i straighten it up this would have been like this okay that's beautiful i'm just trying to figure out is it flipped yes so let me make it right that's a, that looks good now okay so it is beautiful um nicely done and nice timing i can see so now i think you have a dslr do you yes nikon you know how i found out you have a dslr i didn't look at these numbers i saw a little this little dot here 
So that's a sensor dust. So one um, hint, uh, tip I want to give you, agar aapke paas ek se zyada lenses hai na, make sure you don't, when you change them, change them quickly and make sure there's no dust. Otherwise, sorry, sorry, dust aapke camera sensor mein jayegi and you're gonna see, you're gonna see dots like these. See that? Although it's relatively clean, but if you don't pay attention to that, your sensor will get really dirty and you're gonna mess up your camera. But I love your picture. So one thing I want to tell you uh, is please make sure you get rid of uh, you get rid of these dates, right? Yejana, bahut distracting hai, right? So try to get rid of those uh, in your settings. I'm going to get rid of them now. Try to. Okay. Okay. So you don't want anything like that in the shot. Let me see what we can do with this picture. Just a little bit of crop from the top. Maybe not, not a whole lot, but a little bit. Abdeki, what do we do with this picture as far as rule of thirds are concerned? This is a really good tip right here. See this line here? I want to put that on rule of thirds either on lower or upper. So that's exactly what it is. It's on the lower third, okay? So don't place that dead center. Don't go like this. This would be a bad picture, right? So you did the right thing. All right, beautiful, nice clouds and uh, Yes, I agree, absolutely. Let's say no to child labor. I fully agree with that. Good message. And, all right, let's just try to figure out, key. I have more pictures, I'm not done with this, but why my Lightroom did not bring them in. So I'm going to do that now. Give me one second. I know I have pictures, but I think what's happening is they did not transfer. All these images did not transfer. So just give me one second. Let me take care of that. I'm gonna bring Abdul Bari's photos in first. It's gonna take a little while. Please bear with me. What happened came in the last minute, Pina. Um, I switched my camera, I'm sorry, my computer. So not all images got transferred. So I wanna see, so Arshika Khan, I know Arshika Khan did send me pictures. There she is. Let's get Arshika's pictures too. Be patient with me, please. I will take care of everybody. Okay, that's Arshika right there. Who else was missing? Amjad we did, Naila we did, Rahil Ramzan. I know Rahil did send me pictures. Give me one second, Rahil. Your pictures will come in soon. Okay. Yeah. 
and this will go to trash. Who else did I miss? Uh, we did show Ruxana's pictures, Shahid Butt. We showed Shahid Butt's pictures, Sanaula Butt, Shaikh, and Always Amin. We showed Always Amin's pictures too. So it was just a few people were missing. Okay, we're good to go. All right, so let's go back to KEI, synchronize my folder, and say synchronize. And then we go back to our set of images. Okay, of the body. All right. So of the body sent me these pictures. Let's look at them. Uh, very, very nice concept. Excellent. So this picture actually looks really cool. And uh, it does have a dead space on the top. So you have this blue area has no details, but you really don't want to take that out. And dead space it it gives a sh it helps to create other shapes so in this case it really makes these look really really nice beautiful i mean this is done on um, the, the the thing i like about this picture is unique right uniquely done playing with the light Let's see what the next one Okay, so I'm not sure how it was cropped, but I probably would have come right here. Beautiful. Uh, let me see what time up here. Picture lady. It says 9.30 a.m., but it looks pretty flat. It doesn't look like 9 a.m. Maybe it is. So this picture would have been even better agar aap ne maybe a little bit earlier or a little later jump light it me flat now no? so you want to avoid that all right this one is good dead center but it works but in this case i probably would crop a little bit from the top right Kinky. information there's not much happening so i probably would Crop it right here. This one is really nice. Again, Pahlavala concept. I really like it. How you're placing sun in the back and then you are making the foreground dark. And you placed it dead center, which is perfect because it's very symmetrical shot. Do I come down? Maybe a little bit. Maybe this much. And that should be fine. And then this one is nice. I wish you had shown a little bit more to your left. I wanted to see you where does it go? Well, I like the black and white of that. I want to see you where does this road go? So same thing here, um, Abdul Bari. Just come down a little bit more, right? If there are clouds on the top, then it would have been perfect. But I would just come down just a little bit and then bottom pit thoda sa upar. There we go. So let's actually brighten a little bit. Just a tad there. But you have the concept. This is what I'm looking for. You guys are getting it for sure. Okay, this one is nice too. Excellent. Okay, so next one which I missed was Arshika Khan. Did I miss Arshika Khan? Mm. Yeah, so Arshika Khan, beautiful lighting, I very creative shot. Let's see what, it doesn't give me much information. So Arshika, all I would do in this picture is maybe your bottom pana, thoda sa upar, maybe right here, because you have a lot of uh, dark area in the bottom. We really don't need that. So let's go up a little bit, just a tad, right here. And come down just a little bit here, and you have a shot. Thoda a dark, hai, but it's working. I like the texture, and I, it, is, it is very artistic. I wouldn't brighten that up too much. 
you like these moody pictures. I can see that. Um, this is also a good picture. Lekin, what I would probably avoid in this one, Ashrika, is car is there. It, does, it doesn't give us much as far as story is concerned. So I probably would go up. It's a little distracting to me. Maybe it's not to you. I probably would just, let's see if we crop it out and just use this one. Probably. But I love in this shot, framing job new use here. Excellent. So you guys are, everybody in this um, group so far is really paying attention. Very, very nice. This is beautiful lighting. Beautiful lighting. Okay. So just, let's just place this dead, uh, a little bit on the rule of thirds. Maybe just come this way, right? And then maybe come down right here. This much. Okay. So that would have been a nice shot. I like the framing. I like the lighting. Excellent. And then finally, we have this shot. So it looks like Arshika has a particular style. I can see what she's going with this. And I really like that. This one is a beautiful shot. So I probably would come down just a tad. This much here. Because I really don't want to lose this. This is sort of a leading line coming down back towards the flower. And I like your diagonal angle. And I love yellow, my favorite color. So I'm just going to come down a little bit more low right here and then try this. Other than that, there's really not much uh, I need to tell you. So let's see if I missed anybody. Always looks like we covered all of you. At least people who had sent me pictures. Oh, um, that's one more I need to show. Rahel, we didn't show Rahel's pictures. Mm, I thought I got it right there. So Rahel has, I'm not sure Rahel if these are the new pictures or old pictures, I don't know. You can put that in the comments. Was this from the previous session or new session? So anyways, um, I like the sort of a blur effect in this one. I think we saw this last time. But this is a very interesting picture, by the way. Maybe they crown the bird in the shot and the shadow in the shot, they look like two different birds. The shadow in the shot looks like a pigeon. It's very interesting. But um, hey, if I missed anybody, I really apologize. Um, I'm sorry, are you guys, are you guys able to see images or the screen is frozen? Somebody said, I think the screen has frozen, has it? Everybody good? Tell me something in the comments. Okay. So these were the people who gave me the pictures of me. As I said to if I missed anybody, please don't panic. Aapke paas mera email address hai. Just let me know and um, I will make sure ki aapki tasveere mein agli dafa dikha do. Or uh, you can just email me four or five images and you want my feedback, I can do that too. Lekin what I have seen so far, especially aaj ke session mein, that you guys have improved so much and I can see ki how you are applying those techniques you have discussed ki hui hai. I can see that. Kyunki agar ap, you don't have to do a bunch of techniques. You can just use two or three or four maximum. For example, foreground, hamesha. Rule of thirds for now, you can break it later. Um, I saw almost, almost in everybody's photos, I saw framing. That was a good thing to see. Um, stories, I saw stories in each and every picture. So the best thing that I noticed in all of your photos was how you thought about your images before you actually captured them. And, then, and that's the key in photography. That's what I'm looking for. So go back, take lots of pictures. Um, you cannot go out. If you cannot go out, then do what who did that? Ruxana did. Do what Ruxana did. She did it at home. 
create photos at home if you can't go out. Be safe, okay? Wherever you go, whether it's COVID or, or it is um, a landscape, jahampe, there's a danger of getting hurt. You want to watch all those things. For example, uh, Arbal, I know, is a very dangerous place. Don't get overwhelmed by the beauty and pay attention to safety. Check your equipment. If you use cell phone, use Garneo. Make sure it's fully charged. Make sure it has space. If you use DSLR, use Garneo. Koi bhi cheez is mein memory jati hai. Make sure you have a blank memory with you. Make sure it has space in there. Um, stay safe and keep taking lots and lots and lots of pictures. Um, I am really proud of you and makes me really happy to see the improvements and the effort job kar rahe ho, um, to make these photos better. Okay. So I think I will end the session right here unless anybody has any questions uh, or comments i'm going to give you a few minutes if you want to write something or if you want to just say something don't be shy turn your microphone on and talk to me um so uh i'm just looking at the comments if there are any questions here just bring it here mm. Screen was getting stuck at some point. That's what Nyla mentioned. I hope Nyla, it was fine. Uh, Shamil, um, it's because of me. No, it's not because of me that your pictures are good. It's because of you. Yeah, you guys are paying attention. You're working hard and that makes me really happy. Um, Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. You don't have to thank me, but it's nice of you if you're thanking me. Nobody has to thank me because if anything, I have to thank you for allowing me to share whatever I know with you. And hopefully it will make a difference in your lives. And hopefully one day you'll, absolutely, you will be better than me and you will be better than a lot of other people out there. That's what I want to see. Okay. So Khudafiz, be safe and take care of yourselves. I'm going to end the session here. And inshallah, we'll see you again. Go out there, use these pictures, uh, use these techniques again. Use my comments. Don't get offended. That's only because I care about you and I want to tell you the truth. Fix your mistakes and keep getting better and better and better and better, okay? Khudafiz and take care.